Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something special for you. Let's check this out. So, we're working on, I believe this is the 18 foot Voyager John boat. 35 Johnson on it. And, um, yeah. So this thing, my buddy of mine's, uh, I think brother-in-law or something, just bought this boat. And it's not in bad shape. Um, I've seen much worse. It's definitely outdated. Um, I just noticed a few minutes ago that there is a, a water line right here going up this direction. And then you can see it back here on the transom. So this boat has been flooded. Not sure if it's like a super old flood. Maybe it's, you know, someone bought this thing um, from somebody that it just sank it or dock. No idea. But what I will say is it hasn't sank at some point in its life, for sure. But anyway, we're not addressing any of that. So what we are addressing is a little bit of uh, redneck ingenuity, you know what I mean? So this is a lawnmower knob. This is the throttle for a lawnmower, okay? Now on a boat, this is the throttle this is the shifter. You pull the little lever on the bottom, push forward, puts it in forward gear. Pull backwards, that's reverse. Now, you go further, that would be like wide open throttle in reverse. Well, not really, because it doesn't go full wide open throttle in reverse, but it does go like 60%. Forward would be, all right, we're in forward gear. You continue to go down, that would be wide open throttle. Well, somebody had some problems with their throttle cable. There's only one cable coming out of this and it would be the shifter with throttle uh, cable. That's the shifter cable there. This is the throttle for the boat. Someone jack legged that all up. It runs back here. Keeps on running. And someone drilled a hole in the front of the case. Then drilled this hole here and put a bolt all the way through the whole disc cable. Now, some people might be thinking, hey, that's not a bad idea, honestly. You know, instead of buying a $55 or $60 cable, let's just buy a $20 throttle cable from for a lawnmower from the store or rip one off an old lawnmower. And it comes on up and attach it to the throttle. That's the throttle right there, okay? Now, it does work, sort of. Okay, so you actually have to pull it uh, back. Back is actually wide open throttle because it pulls down on it. Forward releases. So the issue here is you may notice that the timing plate underneath the motor is barely moving. But the problem here is the timing is not uh, advancing or retarding when you give it throttle which means the motor's not going to run like it's supposed to so what we got to do is take off all this mumbo jumbo here and all this you know just all that crap we'll get to that in a minute but i have went and purchased 200 dollars worth of parts got both brand new cables i've got the clip that goes here Got a clip that goes here that holds the throttle cable on. This is where the throttle cable attaches to. This piece moves and in turn moves the uh, timing plate, which is supposed to move the actual carburetor butterfly if it wasn't attached to a lawnmower cable. Um, but I've got the clip that attaches here as well that holds on the throttle cable. And then the throttle cable goes on a bracket that bolts here. And um, I mean, all this stuff works. I don't, 
I don't know what exactly is going on. Um, not to not to mention, uh, we've got some rigging going on here as well. Someone has taken a hind joint with a bolt of some sort off of a, I'm guessing a lawnmower or something or four wheeler, and welded it to another shaft. And come down and welded it to what appears to be a bolt. It's just sticking through. That is also not correct, but that is not my concern at this moment because that will work. That's not one of those things that's really a safety issue. The welds don't look like they're the greatest, but apparently it's held up this long. So I'm not gonna mess with that. But the issue is this thing won't idle very well. Um, it won't idle very well, and I'm sure they're probably not getting full throttle out of it because it's not actually advancing the timing like it's supposed to. So, that's the biggest issue here. So, I get to tear off the throttle, um, the old throttle cable, lawnmower cable, the shifter cable, which it is broke right here, is what I'm guessing. They have a, what looks like a big wood screw that goes all the way through here, and some kind of clamp going on here that is actually a small clamp for electrical box of some sort. Um, no idea what's going on behind all this. I don't I really don't care to be honest with you, but it's just wrong. So we're gonna get rid of this um, and take all this stuff off. I got a brand new cable that goes here as well. So yeah, yay me. My biggest concern is this box right here. You can see some of these screws are a little messed up. Probably the, the screws are probably corroded into the aluminum. I hope not because they usually break off pretty easy if they are. So all I'm gonna do is take it off and try to figure out how bad off it really is and then go from there. So yeah. I'm gonna set y'all up on the um, tripod on time lapse and get this box off of here. I don't want this uh, video being too long, but I wanted to explain all the issues that, I'm, that my customer is having with this thing right now. So. You can set up. I think you only love me cause I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's driving. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball point, you know it's not, 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 not. Alright, so now I've got the cover off. That's the, uh, the gear. That's connected to the shifter. That's the throttle right there. There's nothing wrong with this. I actually don't have the pin that goes in there, um, but I am gonna try to find me a uh, stainless steel bolt. I've got a couple around. Find me a stainless steel bolt that'll fit in there with a uh, nylon lock lock, uh, lock nut. But I've got to take this part out in order to get this pin out that's holding the shifter on, the shifter linkage. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. All right, so on this old style cable here, which I don't use this style anymore, you've got this itty bitty um, Allen screw here that screws into the end of this, and another one from this other end, and there's a hole straight through it. So what happens is you pull this collar off, you slide this in there, and then the cable as you can see protruding here, is all up inside of there. You would adjust this however you would need to adjust it. And then you, once this is back in the arm, you know, the arm goes on there like that, inside of there, you would put that Allen screw back in this hole, which would put pressure down on that little wire that's inside the cable, which is actually the cable that moves everything back and forth. And that holds the whole shebang. That holds his arm on, that holds this bolt in place, or this pin in place into the arm there. And also it holds the everything onto the uh, actual cable itself. So this is old school. We are not using this um, style um, anymore. Because now what we were using, I can't get it back in there with one hand. What we're using now is a fixed style as you can see it's all fixed 
this will go through and just get a, a, a bolt put through that hole it goes through that hole and um, it is adjustable on the other it is adjustable on the other end over there and so that's where you get your adjustment itself from so just want to give y'all a little how-to on this thing on how that thing right there works so and once that thing is removed you can take the whole whole piece off and then you just see the cable itself so there you go all right y'all so i just got back from the hardware store i went and got some bolts for these arms here and got some sleeves bushings so basically this bushing goes in this hole like so focus and takes up the slot because the hole in this arm versus the hole in the shifter cable is wrong size so when you go put it in gear it's just going to flip flop around you have a lot of slop in there you really can't have any slop like that not that much slop so i've got to cut these um bushings down about a quarter of an inch i need two uh, four of them total so they'll only go in you know about a quarter of an inch like that the cable you have one on this side and one from this side and the cable goes in the middle with the bolt and you can nylon lock washer uh, lock nuts all stainless steel stuff and um that'll work just gotta get it cut down all right so i got my pieces cut got four of them they're not actually perfect but that's fine because it's going to get sandwiched i'm going to have one on this side like this and one on this side like this and then the cable will just go in the middle wherever that middle ends up falling it'll be just fine and then the bolt will go through the whole nine yards with a lock washer i mean lock nut on the other side so and then that's the one for the other cable so let's get it together is done it works now I have to connect everything back here so I've already got the uh, throttle cable over there I've got to take off this uh, crappy shifter cable over here and put the new shifter cable on there so let's do that uh, time and plate underneath the flywheel and then in turn it will do everything it needs to do over here on this side here so thank you jason at green Marines, for hooking me up with this throttle linkage the correct throttle linkage because i wasn't real sure what was going on these things just pop right in you can see right here there's a little groove it just pushes in like that another one on the top it just presses in and now we have a working throttle so we're going to pull the carburetor off anyway and go ahead and um, rebuild it because someone has silicone. They have siliconed all that piece right here. So I'm guessing that it was leaking fuel. I don't know. But I've got a rebuild kit for it. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild it anyhow and um, make sure everything works as it should. I've got to take the carburetor off. I mean, uh, the starter off to get to that nut there. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, get the thing rebuilt. <laughs> 